Hello you lovely lot, today I'm going to be talking about quick protected summer skin. Um, now a lot of the products I will keep mentioning and keep reusing because that is being called genuine. I'm not going to be using different products every single week because that would mean that I was just going through products that maybe I was just being continually sent. Um, some of these products I used last year and guess what, the year before. Um, so those of you who've watched my videos for nearly over a year now I think, um, you'll recognise some of these. So I've protected my skin with the brilliant Invisiblur by Murad. Now this is SPF 30 and it's got a silicon basin. It's brilliant pre-makeup. I will only save this for when I'm putting makeup on my skin because it makes my skin really, really soft. Now I use retinol on my skin. Um, I'm careful of sitting in the sun but I'll always have it protected now because I don't want to oversensitize my skin and undo all the good work that I'm trying to do and making my skin as good as it possibly can be. Um, so it'll always be protected. So I save the Murad for when I'm doing makeup and then other times I might just put on a random SPF 30, usually 50. Um, so my skin is all nice and prepped. Um, I'm going to be using this lovely, lovely base called Sensor. It's a glowing base. It actually has a very low SPF 10 in it, but I'm not interested. That's really by the by for me. Um, give it a little shake. Um, and it just gives the most beautiful light. I mean, it is like silk going onto my skin. And I just think with makeup and the busy lives that we have, if you can just put a product on your face and literally for me, oh, especially with the mirror underneath, it feels like silk and it is so satisfying. And whether my skin looks lined, puffy, a little bit older than I wished it didn't look. It feels incredible and that's why I love this product. Now, I'm filming in daylight. I'm not gonna get a big kick of shine from this product, but I can highly, highly recommend it in terms of the texture and the feel and it just gives a really natural glow to my skin. So next up I'm going to be using is the Flawless Filter uh, by Charlotte Tilbury. Um, now this came, it's a huge launch. Um, a few months ago um, and people absolutely loved it. Flawless, flawless, gorgeous skin as only Charlotte Tilbury can do. Um, and it was met with a bit of confusion. Is it a concealer? Is it a foundation? Is it just a highlighter? Well, it's sort of everything really. It depends on what your skin is. If you've got the most incredible skin, you can put this on and it'll give you the coverage that you need and the glow that you need. But if you're like me and you're desperate for glow and coverage, you'll need something else. So I'm gonna match this with Tarte. Now this is my Lazy Girl Concealer. Um, it's an opaque concealer that I literally wipe all over my face and blend it in with a lovely foundation brush and I feel confident about my skin. We'll start with the Charlotte Tilbury. Now it comes with an applicator and I'm going to apply it like this, just to the high planes of my face. Now I'm not gonna go over my lip here because my lip's a little bit bumpy. And I'm gonna use my fingers just to blend it in to the gorgeous Sensei base. And you can see it just picks up and gives a lovely glow. Now you've got to be careful about putting it just in between your brows here, like I've just done. Cat candid this morning, actually. Um, because these are the ugly areas of shine. So you just want to keep it on the nice high parts of your cheekbones underneath your brows and just keep that T-zone matte free. All right, I'm just going to Blend it out just to soften the edges with this lovely Zoeva brush. So you can see that gives a woof, the real gleam that you want. And especially if you're feeling a little bit tired and your skin's dehydrated, this gives me a wonderful glow. But I could not wear this alone because I would just look too glossy um, and I wouldn't have any shape to my face. So hence, we go in with Tarte. Now again, very sort of similar applicator here on my chin around my nose here and in between there. And very lightly under my eyes because my skin is hydrated, um, I can actually apply this under my eyes and it will blend in. Now again, just pushing in with my fingers because I don't know, maybe I'm a bit tight. I don't like product wastage. I just push the product into my skin and then I'll go in with the brush. Right, the brush I'm gonna use is by a company called Artis. They are the most luxurious type of brushes that you could ever buy. 
and I'm just going to push this into the skin. Just going to really push it right into my nose. This brush just really has the ability to push the product into your skin so it lasts longer. I've noticed that it definitely lasts longer and um, I'm all about longevity because once I've done my makeup, I'll put a little bit more here because that's where I've got my patchy pigmentation. Just push it with my finger first just to spread it because it's quite punchy this um, concealer. If you don't spread it, um, it will look too heavy. So I pat it in first and then I just use the brush. It's quite satisfying actually because if you're sweeping, sweeping, you do tend to lift a lot of product off your skin and into the brush and then you don't get the effect that you want. Okay, so nice glowing products and then the opaque concealer just to cover imperfections just where you need. So for me that was my chin around my nose and around my temples. So now I feel that my skin looks even. Um, I'm going to be using the Tom Ford um, shade and illuminate stick um, and I use this on one of my films with Lisa and I love how nudey this looks and she's got a warmer skin tone than I have but it still works well on a blonde it just gives that lovely sort of nudey highlight or warmth to the skin warming highlight why not do a combo um, I don't like those sort of tans that look sort of bricky orange or have any sort of trace of red in it. And twist it round and then it's just got the lovely peach on the cheek. And again, just push in with your fingers or you can use a, a brush if you want. But this is just a really, you know, soft, creamy makeup that you don't have to think about too much that just looks natural. And sometimes when the products, you know, the glowing base morphs into the concealer, the concealer goes into the blush, it just looks less sort of face paint and just more natural because the tones in your skin are all very natural and, and random and that's what makes it look and appear softer. Now I have to be careful again around my mouth. Um, so I'm going to take my brush and I just remove any extra product. That's better. Because if the concealer or the foundation, especially if it's very glowy, like the Charlotte Tilbury one, it can really emphasise the bumps around my mouth, which I really, really hate. I wish I could smooth that out but not have, you know, big old lips, but anyway, we will see. Good, so lovely. So really happy with my skin. So glowing products, protection, cream blush, and that just gives a lovely, very soft finish to my skin, which is quick and easy to do. One thing I would say is that um, using a spray SPF is fantastic in your handbags. Now, I don't really use these before makeup. I like to have the SPFs that give a really nice soft finish to my skin. But having one of these products um, in your handbag, just if you're sitting in the sun and you didn't expect to be out as long as you thought you might and you can feel that the sun is directed at your face and maybe it's like, you know, four or five hours since you did your makeup, then you can just... Spray it onto your complexion, onto your neck, onto your chest. As you can see, it is super lightweight. When I first tried these products, I was a bit like, oh gosh, I went overboard. <laughs> and then as I became more confident, I just did exactly what I did just on camera now, and I didn't catch the sun at all. Um, it doesn't disturb your makeup, it's not slippy, the makeup still looks fresh, um, and I think it's a real great handbag essential. Anyway, nice quick tips for a lovely, soft, natural summer skin. I hope that's helpful. Hopefully chat to you down below, and if you haven't, please subscribe. See you later.